the Simpsons really predict the coronavirus outbreak? In the episode that is getting widely compared to the world we live in now, had the disease start out in Asia, which it did, and then they tape it up and they ship it out to go. Homer gets the box and as a result, he gets sick. It flashes to more people getting sick and a cloud of germs spreading from one person to another. Osaka flu. I don't know if they ever expected something like this would ever become this serious. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mia. I don't know about you guys, but I really do think the Simpsons control the future. If you live under a rock and don't know what the show is, The Simpsons is a satirical animated sitcom about the average working family. And the main characters of the family are Homer, Marge, Lisa, Bart, and the little iconic baby Maggie. This family really shows like the craziness of being in a family and how kind of messed up it is at sometimes, but it's also kind of reflective on what kind of society we live in. This weird hot feeling in the back of my head. That's guilt. You feel guilty because your stud wound up costing a man his job. Yeah. And if you've been on the internet for some time now and are interested in conspiracy theories, you guys have probably seen endless theories on why and how the Simpsons are able to predict future events and they actually come true. It's still really crazy to me to think that the Simpsons have been around for 30 plus years and they're able to predict such crazy things. So for today's video, I'm going to dissect the most talked about Simpson clips and some events that are yet to come. So the first clip we're going to talk about is from an episode called The City of New York vs. Homer Simpson. So Lisa brings up the fact that they should go to New York. Oh, I'd love to see New York. Because there's a super cedar bus that is traveling to New York and it's at a very low rate. She holds up a brochure saying that it's $9. Next to that 9 you can see the Twin Towers. And the Twin Towers standing right next to each other makes an 11. And let me say this episode aired in 1997 and 9-11 happened in 2001. York. Now, let that sink in. Oh my gosh. You can't tell me that isn't creepy. Literally like how? It may seem random. I know what you're thinking. It may seem random, but like, come on. When I first saw this, it gave me literal chills. And even though the crash doesn't actually happen, there's this one other thing. When Homer approaches the towers, he sees his car stuffed with parking tickets. And on the front of the car, you can see some damages, like from perhaps a crash. In addition to the 9-11 on the brochure, the fact that he went to his damaged car in between the two towers, which have may have been from a crash, can be interpreted as there was gonna be a crash, hence the car, in between the two buildings. <laughs> Now, I don't know how the creators did that, but they did that. Lady Gaga's Super Bowl halftime performance. Now, many people can argue that Lady Gaga felt inspired by her performance in the show, which aired in 2012 and her performance at the Super Bowl was in 2017. Now, there haven't been any reports on if this is done on purpose, but I highly doubt it was. So Lady Gaga visits Springfield, and while she's there, she's helping Lisa become more confident in herself. And so yada 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 yada, Lady Gaga is performing a concert as well. And you know, it looks like she's performing for a decent amount of people, and if you flip over to to Lady Gaga in real life, she's performing for thousands on thousands of people. And in the show, the creators predicted that Lady Gaga was gonna whoosh, fly through the air in like a super blingy kind of type of outfit, which she did. <laughs> and here's another similarity. Her character in the show was also wearing knee-high boots. And you guessed it, she was also wearing that at the Super Bowl. And more so onto her performance. Gaga sat at the piano at her show. And once again, she sat down at her piano at the Super Bowl. Y'all, I am not making this up. The creators are making this up. This stuff is freaky. Like, I just don't get these things. Like, I just don't understand. And I'm not here to try to convince you that the creators have some type of magical ball. I'm just giving you an extra thought. So studiful, square rootiful, old cootiful. I love you, lady. Yeah, yeah. And now this one has been one of the most talked about predictions. Donald Trump's presidency. And it seems the Simpsons just can't wait for next season to deal with Donald Trump. Now, I think this one is probably the second creepiest for me. Despite it being so freaking on point, watch this.
So you see the two figures on the elevator, Trump and Homer. Trump raises his right hand, and as he does that, a paper on the left falls down. He gives a thumbs up as he proceeds down the escalator. In the real video, again you see two figures, but this time Trump and his wife. So before Trump lifts his right hand, you see the sign fall from the bottom left corner, just like it was in the show. Literally the same placement and everything, but just different writing. And after Trump raises his right hand, then comes the thumbs up with his left hand. Am I just hyping it up too much, or does this not freak you out too? And so now, we're here in the year 2020. What freaky prediction did the Simpsons make that's gonna happen this year? Now, currently as I speak, we are going through a coronavirus outbreak. The coronavirus has been around since the mid-1960s, and if you don't know much about the coronavirus, I'll explain just a little bit. It started in a market in China that primarily sold livestock animals. What happened is in December, uh, there were a series of cases in Wuhan of, of a pneumonia-like illness. Uh, and they were trying to figure out what it was. Uh, they, people were showing up in the hospital quite severely sick. They had fevers that didn't respond to treatment. And what they found in the, in the late days of December uh, was that a lot of these people uh, were from that particular market in Wuhan, uh, where there were these live animals being sold. So, you know, anything from fish to snakes to bats. Now. Did the Simpsons really predict the coronavirus outbreak? And the episode that is getting widely compared to the world we live in now, aired in 1993, had the disease start out in Asia, which it did. I've been working with a shattered pelvis for three weeks. <laughs> and one of the workers said that he had the flu, and he said not to tell the supervisor. And then they tape it up, and they ship it out to go. Homer gets the box, and as a result, he gets sick. He's never gonna come. Hey dad, this came for you in the mail. <laughs> And then it flashes to more people getting sick and a cloud of germs spreading from one person to another. I know this may be a very satirical concept, you know, making like clouds of germs and whatnot, but I still think it's an accurate prediction. I don't know if they ever expected that something like this would ever become this serious. The Saka flu has hit Springfield with over 300 cases now reported. I know shows that can predict outbreaks, but like... I don't know, it's just something about this one is just corona. So those were just a few predictions that have came true, but there are some predictions that we are still waiting on. I won't go into extreme detail, but I'm just gonna name a few. One being hover cars. The episode about this aired in 2005. Professor Frank invented a car that allowed Bart and Lisa to go to the future. I'm tired of this. I want to look at a different future. <laughs> and the future was 2013. The ride is super bumpy, and it's only because it's a prototype. But you know, it does get them where they need to be, I guess in their future. And a cool thing about this is that the same technology that they were using was also used in Tesla's Hyperloop train design. And with Elon Musk living in our time, we kinda know where we're at with technology. Like even having the thought of underground travel tunnels and commercial space travel, it was never even heard of years ago. Give it some time and we'll have a hover car. You never know. Next is a large environmental disaster. And you know, I kind of think we're all expecting this one day. Mother Nature is constantly giving us warnings that we are ignoring every day. Sad. In the Simpsons movie, the whole conflict is based on disaster. Like, you know, Homer's seen dumping his pig's poop into the lake. Which adds to the whole town's contamination problem that they're trying to lower. And as a result, Springfield puts a whole dome around the city. Like, I don't think we'd come to that level, but I can totally see some barricades being put, you know, here and there, sprinkled around. Like, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And lastly, hologram mail. Like, at least hologram something. We literally have smart cars, smart watches, smart refrigerators, smart windows, literally smart everything, smart lights, everything. Even robot vacuums. Like, you can't even deny that there won't be some type of device that will allow you to send holographic messages. Like, you can't even deny. And of course, it's gonna be super expensive, but the possibility is still there. Like, honestly, maybe kind of thinking about it, it's kind of terrifying. It's creepy, but 
is also very cool. In pre-recorded form, so you can't talk to me. I can't? No, you can't. If there isn't a movie on this, I think there needs to be. To sum things up, that the creators of the show are in touch with the future. Whether that's through God, spirits, dreams, everyday encounters, they are giving us signs that just aren't coincidental. And maybe even to stretch out the concept a little bit, this is the government's way of telling us about future events.